Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series, here today to talk to you about a quick tip on how to sketch to scale. We are going to hop into review and show you how this can be done. My example is going to be in a break room area. I'm trying to see if our table is going to fit in this location. Prior to purchasing it, I know the size and I am going to test out and see if it fits. So let's hop right into review and show you how this can be done. So now that we're in review, let's show you the workflow that I will utilize on how to sketch to scale in a PDF. So I currently have a PDF open. I am going to scroll down in towards the break room here. I can tell on the bottom right that my PDF is already set to scale, but if it wasn't, you could click on the set scale icon and you can set the scale by a preset or a custom. This is in my navigation bar or over here on the right hand side, you have a panel. If you're in the review advanced profile, of course, if not, there is a panel called measurements. And from here you can calibrate your document set or the other area would be up in tools. So from the tools menu, you then have your measure and you can set scale. I don't think they have one yeah they don't have one in the sketch to scale but this is where your sketch to scale tool icons is also i have the toolbar menu of sketch to scale so if you go and click on the right click button on your mouse in a toolbar area you can see sketch and you can get those icons as well they're the orange color icons they look like the measurement icons here that are purple with the outline of a scale bar but what you have with the sketch to scale are orange now that my document is set to scale, which it already was before, maybe yours wasn't, you set it to scale finally. Now we can go and use these sketch to scale items. So our sketch to scale items we have is a polygon we can sketch to scale, a rectangle or maybe an ellipse or maybe a polyline. For this instance, I'm gonna use the rectangle because I'm trying to see if our table's going to fit in the break room. So I'm gonna select this item now you can see that my icon has changed. It looks like a rectangle, it has the scale bar around it. I'm going to left click once to start my sketch to scale. I'm left clicking and releasing. Then I have this new little dynamic properties bar where I can type in the set dimensions that I want. So I'm gonna do a 10 foot table and to get to the next one, you press tab because if you press enter, it's just going to put what you dragged because you can drag what you want your dimensions to be currently right which i guess you could use this to grab something that's already on the page but anyways for this instance i'm typing in what i want so i'm going to do a 10 foot tab by a um, we'll do five foot so we'll do no that's going to look like an awkward table we'll do four feet and i'm going to hit enter now that is my new sketch to scale table you do have your uh, dynamic options bar at the top or our options bar i refer to dynamic because it changes with whatever command you're in. Um, you do have the option to go through and change the color, some other options like line styles. Maybe you wanted to add a hatch pattern so it becomes more bolden of what it is. So you can go through and change this if you wanted to, to kind of show that. And look, even when you highlight over, it shows it's 40 square feet here. You can change those totals. You have all of this as well for your information. You can change the individual units that you're using for it of measurement. So again, this is sketching to scale in review. Now, there is no more to be added to this, but if you do have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments area. Also moving forward, I'd love to hear from you all in the community on what future quick tips you'd love to see. So feel free to leave them in the comment area below. If not, thanks for tuning in. This was sketching to scale in review. If you do have any questions about how to set scale, there's a quick tip video and also a blog on ATG USA's resource pages. So feel free to check that out. So atgusa.com. Thanks for tuning in everyone. And I hope to hear from you soon.